everyone and welcome back to another unboxing um, this is the uh, creative art box super awesome box for December but before we go before I open this now I broke the seal but I have not looked in it so I do not know what, what's in it but it is it's kind of heavy it's got some weight to it but before I go into this one let me show you what I came up with for November's box now I will admit I struggled with November's box because one, I'm not used to working with chalk, and two, I don't know. I, I, uh, I don't know. Um, I just there's still so much more that I want to do with with the. I've I've still got the the supplies and everything. I mean, you know, the papers and stuff. But I did use one paper and I did this, just you know, some flowers. I just could not. I don't know. I, I out of out of what I did, this was the, <laughs> this was the best one. <laughs> I erased the other. I, you know, I, I erased the others, the other other pieces that I did because it just it, I I just wasn't happy. I was trying to do flowers or something. I should have done something maybe more geared toward the holidays, but I didn't think about it at the time. So I I thought, well, I'll try some flowers, and these were done with with the with the you know regular chalk. Um, I am in the process of working on something for um, for the holidays using the chalk, but um, it's not finished yet. Maybe by um, when I finish, when I do the project that's in here, I will have the other project, you know, the other stuff done. But anyway, this is this is what I came up with for, and I, I like it. You know, I, I do. I <laughs> like I said, out of for me, this was sort of like a fail. It, it well, actually, well, not a total fail because I did this piece. But even this piece could be better. I still, am, I'm still happy with it, but it's not as good as I know I am capable of doing. But you know, sometimes you know, it just I'm not that good at working with chalk. I mean, I I know that people out there they can do the, these beautiful portraits and and landscapes and everything with just everyday chalk but on a small scale like this I, I, I struggled with it I, I, I struggled with it I mean I think maybe if I went out on the wall out on my backyard and I did something on a big scale maybe then it would have come out okay but anyway this is what I came up with I'm not totally displeased with it <laughs> like I said because I thought okay I'll keep this one <laughs> But it's it's not as good as it could be. I mean, it, it I I know even this needs more work. I I because I need to darken the 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 petals here and you know because this was purple and blue and this one is um, red and pink and this one is uh, red and orange. So actually, this is pink and or, pink and red because I, actually the the majority of it is is red and then I use that the uh, marker the the chalk marker to do the the um, the centers. But anyway, I'm not totally displeased with it, but uh, like I said, it could be better. And then, of course, out, out here I used the gray chalk. But um, anyway, so that is what I came up with for November. I am, um, I'm hoping what I'm going to be doing with the rest of the chalk is going to come out okay. Regardless next time I will show you what I came up with because I, I wanted to do something holiday oriented um, but anyway that's what was uh, for November's you know I, I know it sucks you know <laughs> I, I know it sucks but if, for a first attempt with working with chalk like making a drawing with it I don't think it's that bad I, I rather I, I, mean, I am rather proud of it considering the fact that you know it, I was struggling with it. I was actually struggling with the chalk. So anyway, maybe I should have looked something on YouTube, you know, uh, doing a chalk portrait or doing flowers with chalk or something like that. But I didn't. And um, anyway, you know, you, you have trial and error. And this is sort of a in-between because it's not bad, but then it's not as good as it could be. Anyway, so that is what I came up with for November. Now let's get into December's creative art uh, art box super awesome box all right let's open it up and okay get the paper out and here's the thing okay let me get this thing here 
And what do we got? We have got um we have a one plaid mod podge glossy finish. What the heck? One plaid mod podge pod podge gla glossy finish. Hmm. Okay, let's see what's mod I know what mod podge is. I've got a I've got a thing of mod podge. Is this it? Yep, this is it. So we got some Mod Podge. So we're going to do something crafty, I guess. Okay, and this this retails for three dollars and sixty nine cents. I wanted to say almost eighty nine cents because I wasn't seeing it right because my eyes are tired. <laughs> And then we have a foam brush. According to this, we have a, yeah, one foam brush, and that is retails for 99 cents. Ooh, I'm kind of excited here. I don't know what we're going to be doing. <laughs> okay, and then we've got, okay, we've got the sticker. This one says, shine bright. And then we have, what else do we have here? We have... One Tim Holtz idea, old ideology sticker sheets. One black and one white. Okay. Sticker sheets. No, that's not sticker sheets. And these are. Oh, these are tiles. Sweet. These are tiles. Oh, this is cool. They're tiles. I haven't gotten to that part yet, but I can't help it. I'll have to. Let me unwrap these. Ooh, 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 ooh. Be careful, I don't want to bust it. Ooh, look, we got one black one. We got one black tile. Ooh, cool. And we have one white tile. Ooh, what are we going to be doing on the tile? <laughs> okay, all right, we got one black and one white tile. Let's see here. And let's see the tiles. Let me see here. Ah, two ceramic tiles, one black, one white. And they retail for $2.68, I presume, each. And then, let me see, I'm looking for the stickers. Sticker, sticker, sticker. Where's the stickers? What's this? This is a something. It is a... What is this? Oh, that's just... Never mind. <laughs> Nothing important. Let's see. Sticker, sticker, stickers. Oh, here we are. Here's the stickers. Oh, here we are sticker sheets. Here we go. And it says, let's see, oh, it's just got these little messages on there like, you must be uh, present to win, let life surprise you. That's a nice saying. Shine like the whole universe is yours. Stronger than yesterday. Cultivate kindness. Collect beautiful objects or moments, sorry. Choose to see the good. That's nice. Here, let me hold this steady for you so that you can read what's on the tile, I mean on the sticker sheet, and then, oh, so that my fingers, my fingers aren't, and then here's the other one, so you can read all, if you want to, you can read everything that's on here, okay, and that, and then what else do we got in here, we have um, two UPO paper, uh, one, one, 144 pound, one white, and one translucent, I guess this is it. And now that I'm, I'm familiar with, yep, yeah, here we are. So here's the paper. This, the, this is the translucent one, I suppose. Yep, yeah, this is the translucent one. And this, because it's really, really, it feels, it feels thinner than this one here. So, okay, so those are the two pieces of paper. And then, oh, those retail for $1.98. Oh, and the two sticker sheets, that's $1.98. And then it says, three Tim Holtz alcohol inks. Wow. These are $11.99. Ah, here we are. One, two, three. Hold on a second. What's this one? Okay, 
and here's the colors. This is lettuce, and then we have, let me see here. And we have stream, which I presume this is a blue. And wild plum. Kind of interesting colors. I mean, you know, interesting colors. Or names for colors. And then we have... Let me see. We have... Um, what's, the, what's the asterisk for? Oh, it says here, when working with alcohol ink, make sure to work on a surface that can get messy. And then we have one alcohol activity pack. It's uh, eight tile buttons, or bottoms, two Q-tips, one blow tube, two felt wipes, or felt, one felt wipe, and one alcohol spray bottle. Let me see here. Okay, here's the... Okay, that's that's this little package here, because here's the Q-tips, there's the blow stick, or blow tube, and then here's the felt thing, and then here's the little alcohol bottle. I mean, the little, you know, alcohol bottle thing, or water bottle, whatever it is. Um, let me see. Alcohol bottle, al alcohol spray bottle. And then the super item is one Ranger Tim, Hol Tim Holtz alcohol ink me me metallic mixative. And that would be, I presume, this. That's this thing. So, wow, that's that's quite a bit here. That's, let's see, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, eleven things in the box? That's not bad. No, eleven, twelve, thirteen, counting the two pieces of paper. Wow, that's quite a bit. And to see what it says here about the month of December. Um, let me see. Happy holidays. Use this box to make something for yourself or for someone else. You have received not one, not two, but three Tim Holtz alcohol inks. Okay, let's see here. Get rid of the fold here. Apply the uh, apply this to s uh, smooth surfaces like you put paper. Uh, tile, metal, and glass to create polished a polished finish. The ink uh, dries quick, but can be blended together if you work quickly. Upo paper is a compelling and unique alternative to traditional art paper. Paper. So of course, you know, uh, I'm getting used to the Upo paper. So maybe I'll do a good job on this one. Um, it is waterproof, stain resistant, and extremely strong and durable. Uh, this extraordinary non-absorbent surface resists tearing and buckling and remains perfectly uh, flat, eliminating the need for soaking, stretching, or taping. Ink applied to the, uh, to the bright white sheet, um, let's see, re oh, retain their uh, true clarity and brilliance while the translucent sheet allows to allows for special uh, layered effects and tracing. Because of the unique qualities of this paper, dirt and, um, dirt and oils hinder its performance. We recommend removing spots and, fi uh, and fingerprints with soap and water before use. Make sure you, you, that's why I've had trouble sometimes with the Upo paper. Oh, it's the fingerprint part because sometimes when I've tried to put something on Upo paper, for some reason it won't it won't go over that spot. You know, it'll beat up, and it, it, that's what I was having trouble with another uh, project that had Upo paper, and I couldn't figure out why it was doing it. Now I think I know why. Uh, make sure you you uh, make sure. Oh, it's supposed to be your tile, but they have you tile. Your tile is clean and dry before using. Place drops of color onto, onto your tiles for a marble effect. Uh, use your Tim Holtz ideolo ideology uh, stickers on the tile uh, or the Upo paper to create a mixed media art masterpiece. Use the foam brush and the gloss mod, po mod podge to seal your tile. It is a milky white liquid that dries transparent in less than 10 minutes. 
which I, I do know this because I'm familiar with Mod Podge. Um, most applications require two or three coats. If you receive the Super August box, you can also use the Mod Podge in your leaf mold to create clear leaves that you can print. Oh, okay. Or that you can paint. I'm sorry. That you can print. Ah, oh, I hate when I read something wrong. Um, by placing a drop of ink on the felt, you can create a st stippled effect in your artwork. The Q-tip can be used to dab ink into places where you only want a small amount. Use the blow tube to blow the ink around on the paper and tile while it is still wet to create a uh, fun graf um, graffiti type type or like effect. Use the alcohol spray to create a desired um, distressed look in your art. You can also use the blow tube to put drops of alcohol into your art to spread the ink around. The tile bottoms are for for if you wish to turn are for if you wish to turn your tiles into coasters. Well, the way they have this worded, it sounds weird. The tile bottoms are for if you wish. That's the sentence needs to be restructured. Anyway, they um, hey, you're super awesome. So you have received a Tim Holtz. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not super awesome. I ordered <laughs> that. That was what given to me. It is a super awesome box. Um, Tim Holtz Adiron, uh, Adirondack uh, alcohol ink mixative to add luminous metallic effect uh, accents to your art. You can use the fade resistant quick dry um, dye ink on multiple surfaces um, like light or dark. Uh, gloss, paper, uh, gloss, gloss paper, ew, gloss paper, glass, metal, foil, shrink, shrink plastic, and other um, slick surfaces. And that's it. That is it for the super awesome box for um, December. Um, I don't know. I don't. Would you guys want to see what this this uh, ink looks like? I I presume you do. I mean, who wouldn't? I know I do. So let us check out the ink. First, we will. Uh, I don't know if I want. I just. I don't want. I don't want to try not to get too messy. I'll get my. I'll get my brush. I'll get a brush because I don't want to. I don't want to make it too. I'll use my. My brush. It's all messed up. It's, I think it's this one. It's this one. This is one that's all messed up. I still use it for just this type of thing. I don't know if you're supposed to shake this up, but I'm going to shake I shook it up anyway. So we can see what colors we got. Now I'm doing it on regular white paper, so it might be a different effect if it's on tile. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. It's got a little... Oop, didn't take much. Didn't take much. Can you see that? Oh, well, hold on a second. That's a pretty red color. Ooh, you smell that alcohol. It dries really, really quick, too. I mean, I just put it down there, and it's just, it's already dry. That's a pretty color. Let me put that back on. I think it'd probably be better, it'll probably be better when, when I get it on the tile, because the tile is slick. These are perfect Christmas colors. Red, blue, and green. Yeah, it doesn't take much. It just just a little bit and Yeah, see, it's just it dries really fast on the paper. And then let's see, we did the the blue. What was this color? It was uh stream. And then we've got the lettuce. I think the lettuce is the lettuce. Yep, the lettuce. The smell is really strong. Yeah, it's that's a nice. Yeah, it's definitely. Add a little white to that, and you got you got a nice green, a nice light green. And then we've got the metallic one. You're crooked. 
I think, or is it me? Is it you or me? And then here's the metal. Which one is this one? Hold on a minute. Oh, that was wild plum. Wrong one. I already did wild plum. Silver. Ooh, that one I did have to shape. This one should be nice. Oh, that's a nice silver color. Oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be that's gonna be shiny. That's gonna be nice when I'm done with whatever I'm gonna be doing with it. That's pretty cool. All right, that is the uh, the Creative Art Box Super Awesome Box for December. Um, I will have a link below um, to the their web page so that if you want to get one of the Super Awesome Box, you can get a regular regular creative art box or you can um, I think there's there's also a junior for for kids um, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken and um, but there's also just a regular um, art box or creative art box so that you know the super awesome box I do know does cost a little bit more but um, anyway so that is I I will have for you um, probably January what I came up with, and I don't know what to do yet right now. I haven't decided what I'm going to do, but I'm trying to wrap these so I don't break them. I wish my mom was still alive because I would make something for her with some of this stuff. I used to do that. At, it was always funny at Christmas time. My mom would get me get me crafty things to do or painting supplies or whatever. And invariably, I would use those supplies to make her something. <laughs> I remember once she got me this craft, um, craft set that you make a squash blossom necklace out of, um, of, uh, out of uh, um, uh, what do you call it? safety pins? And I, I, I made it, and I made it for her. <laughs> She goes, I made, I got this for you, but mom, I made it for you. <laughs> so naturally she couldn't turn it down. So, um, she, she, I think she had it, you know, until she passed away. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know whatever happened to it, but I know that she did keep it, um, for the longest time. But anyway, so, I mean, I kind of wish my mom was still alive so that I could, you know, I could give her, she'd be getting a lot of gifts. <laughs> Maybe that's what. Maybe that would be would inspire me to do some of this stuff. Is make stuff for my mother. You know, if my mom was still alive, and then my um, mother-in-law, she just passed away last year. So, you know, I was I did do a painting for her, and well, I I gave it to her anyway, and um, she she had it you know, hanging up in her house, and that was to me that was the highest compliment she could have given me. Is she she hung it up in the house. I forgot to put this paper back in. Um, Instead of, you know, hiding it away in an attic someplace, you know. But it was just it was just an early drawing I did of this volcano. Um, not one of my best pieces, but um, I was proud of it. Even though it, you know, kind of looked funky. <laughs> it really did. It looked kind of, it, it did look funky. But anyway, that is, that's enough of my, my storytelling of my, my past, of my childhood or my young adulthood really because it was because uh, I did that painting and I was an adult I wasn't a kid so but anyway um that will be that will be it for the um the December creative art box um welcome to all my to my new subscribers uh and I hope um, you guys had a nice uh, Thanksgiving and you guys have a wonderful Christmas or holiday, whichever, because not everybody celebrates Christmas. I know that. Um, so whatever holiday you do celebrate, I hope you have a wonderful one. It's filled with love and laughter and everybody gets along and there's no arguments, you know, no fighting, no squabbling. <laughs> Try to be kind to each other, especially this time of, all year round, but especially at this time of year. Okay. Anyway, y'all take care of yourselves. Be well. God bless. Bye.